I wanted to make this video about a new feature that Leonardo AI just released a few weeks ago, and it is an image to prompt tool that is included on their free plan. I don't know how much longer it will be free, but from what I have found, to use a tool like this, I've had to subscribe to AI generators. I've not been able to find this for free. In fact, I released a video about a month ago about all the free resources you can use to find image keywords to get an image that you want, but that requires you to do a lot of research. This tool is very, very easy. So I am in the new interface here. Uh, what you do is, if, well, let me start with this. Over here, this is how you switch between the old interface, the legacy view, and then this new interface that they've built. So that's the toggle up there. Okay, you click here and you choose Describe with AI. And then you upload an image. And uh, let's see, I'll just actually use this picture of me and just see what it does. It might take a little bit of time here to upload. Nope, boom, okay. So it's got the image. And now it's given me a prompt. So I could take this prompt and go to some other image generator and use this, but let's just see how close it gets me to that image. And this always takes some time. So actually, let's just move along to another one. Let's do another describe with AI. And we'll try this one. Okay, so that's quite a bit longer. And we're gonna go ahead and generate that one. Okay, yeah. That, that girl is way more attractive than I am, but <laughs> there she is looking good. And that is a lot like that image. I mean, it's got the same warmness She's sleeveless. She's got uh, my color of hair. Let's see how this one turned out. Um, that's very weird. That's not what I wanted, but that could be the model that I'm using. So this is how you change your, your models now. They used to have it where you would change it, and, and it was kind of complicated, like you didn't know which engine or model to use, you can actually still manually change that down here. So this is like the old way of doing the models. This is the new way, and I really like this way a lot better. But let's just see if I can get a better match by changing the model there. That is much better. It's not as mischievous as I want, but it is getting there. Now, I don't know if you knew this, the edit, well, that's in the Phoenix model. Let me try with the Phoenix model because then I'm going to show you something else. This will be my last one. I'll try it with the Phoenix model. And then I'm going to show you a feature that I've already showed in another video, but it is just so cool. I want to show it here. And this is where you can edit an, a generation. So this is really, really powerful. You can take something you've generated that you like and instead of starting over and trying to refine, refine the prompt again and get another generation, you can actually make edits to the actual images that were generated. And that is really, really powerful. But that tool is only available on Leonardo Phoenix for now. So let's say, I wanna change this. Um, we're gonna just make it more abstract. I don't really know what that's going to do. Now, on the free plan, you do get 150 credits every day. I feel like that's very, very generous. That's one reason why I love Leonardo AI, and I've been with them for a long time. So even as these tools become, well, actually, they've added more complexity, but they've simplified the interface. So I was going to say I've kind of grown with them, so I understand more of the complicated stuff. Actually, they've made it easier to use. So that's how you can make edits to a generation. Uh, this is still not quite what I want, but you can see how it works. That's all I wanted to share with you. Have a great day.